That was a very, very careless safety shot from Stephen Hendry. Really careless. It's one of those really where you might take a chance here because you can't avoid the blue and get back into ball. So you might just play it at pace straight into the pink and hopefully something will happen. Well, that's what he tried to do and he's uh, been a little unfortunate actually. One. Played a good shot there. pot on the blue and leave this long Six. distance and uh, round the back of the black's not a problem. Blue or bought colour I would suggest is his choice here. Yes, we saw Stephen Hendry play a very, very poor safety shot when he cannoned into the brown. You can see that the brown's off its spot. In doing that, he left a cut red right into the middle. And this is the result of the small break you can see on your screens of 11 so far and counting that's been left from that poor safety. There's the red loose at the back of the bunch, so he doesn't necessarily have to go into them here. And the way he's played that, I presume the red in the middle of the bunch will pot. This is the safety shot we can show you now that uh, caused the problem. 16. If he doesn't kiss the brown, you see, he's in no problem at all, but that's very careless. Can't afford to do that against a player in form like Dings and Weirs. And if he gets onto a colour here, there'll be plenty of reds in open play. There you can see the red. Not guaranteed to get perfect on blue or pink here. Could go wrong, this. Yeah, I don't think this is the red he played to be on. I think he played to be on the one just above the black, but this is all he's left with. Just got to judge the cannon off the other reds. Seventeen. It'll have to be the pink, because I don't think the blue goes into the far left corner. Well, it might just go. I think if you had a choice, you'd rather play the blue, because the blue, you just got to pot it, but maybe it doesn't go. Obviously, the pink's available, but... Man, he's such a good potter, and he, he's very good at playing little cannons on other balls. Well, he didn't need one there, but uh, he didn't run across far enough. He played for this red to the right but corner, and he's not on it, as played. But he's still got one over the far left corner. It's a good chance. And if you can pot this, get a nice position on any colour, he'll be back in business. John Parrott came out with a great point for me when he suggested that he's a different animal, Ding Jung Wei. Some young players would probably struggle to get over the line against somebody of the legendary qualities of... Stephen Hendry, but he said this young man's a different animal. He uh, sees the winning post, and like all great players, seems to improve when he gets near the winning post. 28. 29.
35. Forty three. Well, the matches certainly took off, hasn't it, since the mid-session interval where we had very good match play in the first four frames of this match. We had some good safety and players were taking more than the one visit. Obviously, there's no high breaks in the opening four frames, but since the mid-session interval, 129, 51, 64, and already this 51 and counting, it's been 51. a complete contrast of the opening four frames. 52. A little bit short of pace, but I, I think he can. Well, he's straight enough to be able to pot the red and keep control of the cue ball. That's the most important thing. And as you can see, the other red on the edge of the four will go also into this corner. Six. So he doesn't have to disturb anything. This blue and one more red, that's all that's required. This is the problem for Stephen Hendry. He had the chance in the last frame, Mr. Black off the spot. 65. Look to be going three apiece. Good clearance from Ding Junhui. 66. And a poor safety in this frame has now really made Ding a very warm favourite to take this match. It's going to be 5 2 for certain. Just one away from a place in the final. Very, very clever cannon. I think the red's available into the middle. So Henry made a break of 129 in frame five. 82. Every chance now we can see Ding Zhongwei making one in frame seven. 67. Well, he made that look so easy, but that was. Superbly cued. It really was. Forced the angle and got enough stun run through to force it off the side cushion. Good stuff, this from the young man. Ninety five. Ninety-six. Very well played. <laughs> this young man only turned pro in 2003. This is his fourth season and he's already made now 86 centuries. So that's averaging about 22 a season, which is up there with the all-time greats.
He could be anything, this guy. 106. One hundred and ten. One hundred and fifteen. Another excellent positional shot from Ding Jung Wei. As I said, Henry made one two nine. Ding Jung Wei quietly tied with one two eight. The standard of snooker now is top draw. So we'll see Ding Jung Wei go further clear now at five frames to two. It's a very interesting point there, John. It just shows you the standard of this game. When you get to playing like these two guys at the minute, it's a one-chance situation. And this all came from Stephen Hendry's poor safety. Yes, when you're close to the, the reds like this, and you, he's obviously taken a little bit of a chance because there's three ball colours to avoid, but to hit the brown full ball, well, it's unforgivable, really. This is what Hawkeye said he was trying to do. He just missed the brown, leave that cue ball tight on the ball cushion, and you've got your opponent in big trouble. He didn't, he left the red, and a marvellous 128 break was the result.